Right, moving on to the, the next country, everyone's favourite. Argy Bargy. Argentina being uh, another long boy. Um, so, ninety. If you want to, uh, if you want to talk a yep. story, some of the information here, I'm, I might or I may or may not be running off to go to the toilet. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Have fun. And Argentina is along with Brazil, only one of two countries that has a Generation Four cam with the black, uh, with the blue car. Otherwise, the Generation Three cam has a black car. Which you can see on the top side. One thing to look out in Argentina if you are out in the woods, in rural regions, um, for the road signs, as you can see on the bollard section, but it's not a bollard, that's a road sign, Ruta Nacional 5. Uh, I don't know how it's called. Cinco. 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 And um, on provincial roads, you see the RP sign instead of RN for Nacional. But the provincial roads are just everywhere. Every province has their own numbers. License plates can be a bit misleading with Uruguay to be confused with because of the black. But on generation four coverage, you can see um, also a blue writing on a white plate that's the new mercosur plates i think it has a blue strip on the top as well where it says the country but because it's blurred you can can't see that so gen 4 argentinian plates look almost the same like the brazilian plates the new ones another big oh. hint hmm? Yeah, the Mercosur plate kind of looks like the European Union plate, but the strip is like at the top of the plate, like horizontal. Yeah, horizontal on top, where the country is in the middle, but you can't read it, unfortunately. Yep. Interesting. Road signs in cities look pretty much the same as in Uruguay. I mean, every town, every city has its own colors. They can be black, they can be blue, they can be bright blue, they can be green, but it's always that style you see here. Yeah, you can see those in Chile as well sometimes. So Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, when, when you see these types of signs. Yeah, but I think Chile is can also have brown road signs. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, I've never seen brown road signs like this in Argentina. I think maybe in the south, but don't yeah. don't yeah, that count. Fuego maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And the phone numbers, I mean they're just indecipherable for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know how it's going to be. I know. But uh, in general landscape wise in Argentina you can say the more dry it is, the more south you are. Okay. Now we don't we don't have any examples for Argentina, and I think that's purely because um, it may be some time constraints, but also uh, it's just difficult to say this is Argentina, this sums up this part, this sums up this part, or whatever, because it is so diverse. Um, so hopefully when we do a bit of chat guesser later, we're going to have a couple of examples of Argentina come up where we can kind of pull on um, some of the stuff that we see and the guys will give some uh, information there. So from that point, we'll be uh, moving on from RG unless the guy's got anything else to add. Yeah, I think yeah. Oh, go um, ahead. Argentina, I think, is definitely the most difficult to like differentiate different areas. Mm. Like there's parts of Patagonia that can look the same and like, the northern part of Patagonia and the southern part can look exactly the same, and it's very difficult even for people like me. Yeah, I think the biggest thing in Argentina, at least for me, is usually the electricity poles, which look quite similar to the Peruvian very thick poles. So yeah, that's why I usually use some very thick concrete poles. So you know you're not in Uruguay because of the car. At least three C's on, on the thick. 
at least. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs>